Doug Judy. I wish you were alive, Doug Judy. God will give you a high five. Doug Judy! No, he gave himself a key change. Yeah, 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 Doug Judy! You're a friend, 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 Doug Judy! This song is at its end! Thank you so much for being a great audience. I mean, it's a funeral that's psychotic. I'm so sorry. Doug Judy. What? Hey, Jake. Man, this song was moving AF. We gotta lay that down. Doug Judy is smushing on the beach. Well, don't try and do it with me, you bastard. You tricked me. Now give me a hug. I'm so happy you're alive. I'll never forgive you. You're my best friend. Whew, I just went through a lot of emotions real fast, but I think I'm back to normal now. Should we get lunch? I would love a cheesesteak. I was thinking the exact same thing, probably because the, the coffin, coffin looks, looks like, like a hoagie roll. roll. Judy, what the hell is going on? Uh, who are you and where's Rosa? I'm his boss, and I want answers. All right, you know who Stefano Lucas is? The arms dealer? I got worried he put a hit out on me, so I had to disappear. Why does Stefano Lucas want you dead? His favorite Ferrari got stolen. And for some reason, he thinks I did it. Probably because someone's been jacking cars all over Brooklyn using your M.O. Oh my God, Jake, are you saying what I think you're saying? Yes. Do you have a copycat? <laughs> I didn't think I'd accomplish enough in my career for this. I know, it's big. It just feels so good to be seen, you know? Wait, the only way to catch a copycat is to team up with the original criminal. I'm back on the force, give me a gun. No, there is no copycat. You did it. Not me, I'm living that straight life. Terry refuses to believe it. He thinks people can't change. Tell it to Bruce Banner's pants and shirt. That's what I said. Doug Judy, you're under arrest. What, Sarge? <laughs> you are really bringing down the vibe at this funeral. What the hell is that? Jake got me this disguise so some criminal doesn't see me in here and tell Stefano. Okay, but why is Jake also wearing them? Uh, because it looks super cool, Sarge. We look like the hot twins from The Matrix. <laughs> we are getting aggravated. You look like Millie Vanilli. Ooh, I call Vanilli. Ah, I want a Vanilli, but yeah, you got it. He's the best one. You know it's true. So, did you check out Judy's alibi? Yes. And surprisingly, it checks out. Last Saturday night, Doug was DJing Joshie Greenbaum's bar mitzvah. Oh, that was a wild party. Auntie Karen is a freak. Judy, you DJ bar mitzvahs? Best gig I ever had. No one likes hip hop more than a 13-year-old Jewish boy. Mm, so true. I'm not buying it. Probably stealing cash off the gift table. <gasps> Sarge, come on, he has an alibi. Let's just team up and try and catch the copycat. A thousand push-ups. It's something Rosa and I used to say. It just means, trust me, if Judy's a criminal, I'll do a thousand push-ups. And since you're so confident, if you're wrong, you can do them. And a thousand push-ups, that's a lot to you? You go to hell, Terry. Make it a hundred thousand push-ups that I'm in. Obviously, I can't do that much exercise, but it doesn't matter because Doug Judy is telling the truth, right, Judy? I got you, baby. So fine, a hundred thousand push-ups. You happy, Sarge? Great. Now, Doug. You never call me Doug. Yeah, well, you called me Jake earlier. I thought we were switching the first names. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, why do I call him Jake? But it's chill now. <clears throat> so, Doug. Yes, Jake. Now that we know the copycat is using your playbook, if you were still in the game, which you're not, we all agree, what would your next move be? <sighs> Fight night at Barclays. Mm. No sport attracts more ultra wealthy people with super nice cars than boxing. Really? What about the sport of hunting man. You got me. That's not a thing. Right, so should we just start at Barclays then? Great, but first we've got to make a quick little pit stop on the way. Right, where? On straight my ass. I got you, Doug Judy. Huh? What are you talking about? Something felt wrong stopping for this bar mitzvah. So I sent some plainclothes officers to watch the lots at Barclays. They just caught the copycat. I don't understand. If anything, that proves Judy's innocent. He's been standing here with us the whole time. Which was his plan. Establish an alibi so his partner can go off stealing cars. I don't have a partner. Whoever this is, I promise you, I do not know him. Actually, Doug, I think you do. I can't believe you made us think you were dead. I can't believe you're out here stealing cars. That's for low life. You steal cars. And I'm a low life. A gorgeous, charming, super smart low life beloved by all. I'm sorry, Dougie. I was falling behind on my student loans. I had to do something. Guys, if you weren't working together, how did she know all your signature moves? I found some of Doug's old notebooks. Those are notes of my memoir. Memoir? Do you have title ideas yet? I was just gonna call it The Pontiac Bandit. Oh, is that it? Yeah. I hated stealing cars. I was gonna stop as soon as nursing school was paid off. I swear, it was a mistake. That's good enough for me. Come on, Trudy, let's go home. That's not really how arresting works. She's going to jail. Wait, 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 wait. What if we get you a bigger fish? What if we can get you Stefano? Who? That 
Cadillac, Cherry Red 1961, Ferrari 250 GT California you took belongs to a guy named Stefano Lucas. He thinks I did it and now he wants to kill me. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, I had no idea. It's all good, you have the car. So I call him, tell him I'm not dead, say I want to give him his car back, arrange a drop, and these guys take him down or die trying. That is interesting. Stefano almost never comes out in public. It would be a huge collar for the 99. What do you say, Sarge? 100,000 push ups. Fine. If you deliver Stefano, I'll talk to the DA about a reduced sentence for your sister. Thank you so much. There's just one problem. I don't have the car. I already handed it off to a fence. Oh, Judy, Judy, you screwed me. 